So another game, another low scorer, another nil nil. So once again, not masses can be said about this game. So there wasn't much that happened until the late embers of the game, really, for actual big chances. Now, Juki had a chance that he put what, oh, well, he actually kind of headed it over and probably could have done better, but he didn't quite dispatch it how he normally would. I thought Leko played very well. I thought he he was running up and down the wings. He was showing a bit of skill. He was showing his finesse. He was showing his fitness um, and his strengths. He, he was showing them. It was nice to see him in the team, and I feel that he should be given more opportunities than he has been so far. So hopefully, now he's got into the fitness of being able to play, he'll be able to get some more chances. Obviously, this is another game where we didn't have Halilovic be able to play. And I think to this time it was because of the international clearance, so he was still due to get international clearance. So we're awaiting that. So hopefully that can happen before the next game on Tuesday. So, nil-nil draw, not many opportunities. We had a couple near the end. Uh, put one towards the top corner, their goalie save. We put one just wide. Juki put one over. But there really was not much to show. The best moment of the match, realistically, fell to them. And it was an overhead kick. I'm not sure by who. I think it might have been Smith. Um, overhead kick by him. And he put it near enough prime position for an over for the way he positioned the over kick and kicked it couldn't have put it more perfectly actually and Etheridge did another brilliant save to stop it into that going into the top corner so he did well again to stop that one and keep it as a nil nil draw and another clean sheet for Etheridge so anyone who is on gaffer fantasy you've got to be looking at a blues defender <laughs> Um, what else can be said about this match? We didn't seem to be playing overly aggressive, which at home, and no offence to Millwall, but against a team like Millwall, once again, five at the back was not what we were looking for. The team was nearer the team I would have picked, and I suppose that at the moment he couldn't pick Halilovic because he's not clear to play, and not fully, fully fit, and it just seems that if he played Leko up front, with Halilovic behind, and Bella on the one side, and Sanchez on the other, that could be a dangerous partnership, with some pace, some power, some finesse, some possibility of goals, <laughs> um, but yeah, another clean sheet, I guess. There's definite positives to take out of that. It's another game where another team couldn't score against us. Our defensive showings are definitely better than they were last season. It's not the greatest football in the world to watch. But would I rather be watching exciting football under Pep Clotet where we lose 3-0 and we try and win a match or draw 0-0 and be bored stiff? I'd rather draw 0-0 and be bored stiff myself. Um... So we've gone from losing 3-0. That's the kind of game we would have definitely lost 1-2-0 or two nil last season. So he's definitely moved, he's moved that forward. But we need to be looking towards trying to get some goals into the team. Um, possibly getting a new striker in in January, I would say. Which is not too far away now. The next match is on the 1st of December. Barnsley at home. So we'll, we're on that final stretch of the 2020 year. Obviously, brilliant news about fans being allowed back into grounds. Sad news that we're in Tier 3, so we don't get it yet. But hopefully, by the next update, we will go down to Tier 2 and maybe get the 2,000 fans at home. It would be great. But anyway, on to the next match. Barnsley at home. Hopefully, we can get three points. We haven't won in five now, but we've got a lot of draws. Uh, I think that's three draws now. So, 
positives and negatives. Anyway, thank you to all the people that watched the last vlog and the last video that I put up about the Baby Aid Brum. Um, we've had a couple of people donate from that and <clears throat> and share the page. That's great. Thank you to everyone who's done that. It's brilliant what you've done there and helped out a bit, big amount in the charity. Anyway, keep right on. Let's go into the next game. Hasta la vista.